I would like a rapier or like a scimitar build. Uh, yes. Oh, two. Well, that's a crit. Well, I, I, exactly. I, would, I would end up creating on a 13 to 20. And it's like, yeah, I have all these bonuses confirming as well. So. I exactly. I have a like killer and all those. Always kill everything. Bonuses. Yep. With all my explosive effects. Like all right. Well, Grimith is back. Let's see everyone. All right. Roll back. Let's continue. You arrive at the Lake of Diamonds. Oh boy! Oh, yes. It is so beautiful. So as as we arrive, what 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 sight meets us? What, how? Well, everyone's now well, dead. That's a start. Does, does things look okay? Things look well. Things look well, and uh, it is clear that there's been some sort of, you know, movement and shifting about that the camp you have been gone for quite a few few days here. Yeah. Uh, you do notice quickly that there is not really that. There's not as many people here as you left. Clearly, oh, um, got eaten seems, by ghosts. And it seems like the the camps have been sort of you know uh, packed tight to get together, and you see a lot of sort of um, you know, like signal fires, uh, not signal fires, but you know guard fires all, all over the place and <laughs> patrols. Um, as you arrive, the um, um, the rumors start to spread, or you know, the, the word of mouth starts to spread, and quickly from the thronging masses, or you know, the different dilapidated shacks and tents that has sprung up here, uh, Tarlin, the sergeant, um, uh, r- comes, you know, running up to you quickly, sort of, uh, you know, uh, correcting his armor and his sword and you know, stuff as he as he approaches you. We'll bring our skis around with us. That should give a good spot. Hang on. Summon the spiders. Well, yeah, we need those. They they work, they work as really good influence points. They draw eye candy. <laughs> exactly. It's like, hmm. Go for it. Um, like your spiders. That's so webby. You have uh, one draped over each shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's arrange this. Let's arrange this. So yeah, she walks up to uh, to Tarlin. He uh, salutes. Uh, Stiffly, and uh, then you know, my lords. Uh, he looks around. I, uh, I am pleased you are back. And so are we. It seems, however, that the camp is smaller than when we left it. He it's just sort of a cold voice. He looks shaken. F- f- forgive me, my lord, but uh, some of the troops. When you left a couple of days, it was hard to keep them under control. Uh, some of them tried to escape. We. I and a few others had to just stop them and it took to bloodshed. Yeah, sort of cold to me. It's a little warmer. Just, ah, good. I expected something like that would happen. Have us have, have the men then. Uh, the rest remained loyal. He uh, nods. Yes. Uh, yes, lords, they have. I took the liberty of making an example of some of the mutineers. He motions to a, um, basically a collection of stalactites and stalactites from which you can see a couple of drow hang basically um, uh, like in a cross pattern. Like, you, you know, you tie the arms and the legs to different stalagmites. Uh. So the, the hang spread eagle and they look very hurt and very whipped and like, you know, blood drops from them and stuff like that. Uh, after this display, most of the men seem to remain loyal. That's good. How many uh, are we now? Uh, a, about a uh, uh, seven of them tried to mutiny or escape. I uh, believe we have hunted down most of them. I, uh, to my knowledge, none have escaped to warn of our activities. That's so. We lost only seven. To the mutiny, mutiny, yes, my lords. However, he sort of moves around. The uh, rumors that the lake is haunted seems to be not completely unfounded. Some of our hunters and gatherers out in the lake have disappeared, my lords. We have heard screams of terror in the night or in the dark. Um, But we have been unable to ascertain exactly what has taken them. Not so. In total, how many are left? We have lost a total of fifteen, my lady. Peanuts. Eighty-five are left. Then, all right, that should do. You have done well. 
She looks at uh, Charlie. He straightens up. I uh, live to serve you, my lady. Schwan says, that is a good attitude. That is how a drow lives at all. He, uh, he bows. Yes, indeed, my lady. Very well, then. We have, while you have been waiting here, continued with the plan, and it seems that all the pieces are, have fallen in place. She sort of, uh, you know, makes a little motion uh, to direct his attention slightly towards the creatures behind her. He uh, he looks over at them, and then, you know, his eyes widen for a fraction of a second, and then uh, uh, turns back to a Lunari. And uh, he looks very solemn, and, you know, he looks um, impressed. Smile and says, uh, We intend to march on festivals. Yeah, he nods. I see, my lady. I'm sure some of you have already theorized this. What is the talk in the camp? The talk in the camp is uneasy, my lady. The um, the disappearance in the lake and the um, example I made of some of the mutineers have put the men somewhat on edge, my lady. They are hungry for blood. Smiles. And perhaps they shall see it. However, I must stress to keep them under control. Discipline is important. Yes, my lady. My thoughts, exactly. If the men are not disciplined, there might be uh, very strong repercussions. She, she again glances to the, uh, the two, uh, two spider creatures. Shall I make more examples of them then, my lady? I can round up some of the more disturb, uh, disturbing sorts and have them flayed alive in front of you. For your pleasure, my lady. Smiles. Uh, that is not necessary yet. We are kind. She smiles. Kind and just. And as such, we shall give them the chance to prove their worth in the coming battle. He seems to nod, thinking that, yes, proving, the, proving their metal in battle before we flayed them seems to be much better. Yes, uh, she, she looks. We, uh, we attend to much at festivals, and we have on our excursion acquired uh, quite a few vials of gnomesbane. <coughs> We deemed it a, uh, a, a, well, a safety for our own kind to uh, take in this brew to make ourselves uh, harder to blind. These gnomes are so fond of going. They're yeah, used to fighting blind enemies, and when they fight a full drow assault, hopefully with our inside gnomes, from inside their walls, uh, they will have no chance and quickly surrender to us. They will fall before us, my lady. She nods. Says, good. Round up the men, then, uh, and tell them it is time to leave this lake for good. He salutes, as you say, my lady. We march to uh, festivals. Hmm? Uh, Sergeant Tarlin, uh Salutes, and then he uh, quickly turns around and uh, hurries into the camp, shouting orders to those nearby to break camp as quickly as possible. Okay. Well, there we'll you know, go back to our siblings. Assuming they're very close. You you do notice that the spider sort of inch up to the drow that hangs from the stalagmites and stalactites. And look at them very hungrily. The other area we look to... Uh, Really it, you know, see if he disapproves. She has no problem with feeding the dead drought to these spiders. Really it, uh, sees the look, looks at the spiders, offers a shrug. Ellen <laughs> uh, walks to the two and says, uh, You have tasted uh, the flesh of our pack mule, a pack lizard some time ago. However, I see your hunger. She smiles. Know that drow flesh is not going to be what you're going to be feasting on the most. However, she says, um, drow itself is not holy. Only the obedient drow are holy. And so the obedient must not be touched. But those, she 
course, it's like mine. Uh, but filth. You can uh, you can savor them uh, if you wish. It shall uh, indeed go to show your uh, your strength to any who any uh, others who might uh, try to stand against us. Uh, Skethic clicks her mandibles. As you say, matron, you are most generous. She looks over at Azrak. Come, my love, we shall feast tonight. They uh, uh, quickly inches over and starts to you know, poke at the um, uh, the uh, drow hanging from Stalamax and Stalatha clicking their mandibles and seem, seeming to quite savor their meals. Good issue. Drow is not going to something they hopefully get a lot of. But well, when we take <laughs> Vathis, you know, <laughs> they will they will eat a feast as they have never dreamed of. Maybe they have dreamed of it. <laughs> oh, perhaps. Um, I don't think they know how many Drow had Vathis. How yeah. many who did not follow us? Several dozen. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually interested, uh, Jonas, in. Uh, in tracking down the sergeant who has uh, has gone off running, uh, Sergeant Tarlin, if I but could. Uh, sure, uh, you can you can find him in the thick of things. Um, he is easy to spot. Good. Uh, Rilanid will sort of uh, store him up, I suppose, and uh, call out in that booming monotonous voice, Sergeant. The sergeant uh, turns around and quickly salutes. My lord! The hunters who were taken, they were all separated from the rest of the camp whenever they left? He, uh, he says, yes, my lord. They, uh, they traveled in groups of four, um, but some of them didn't return. We heard the screams, his sort of motions into the darkness. They, it came from that shore. I have since forbidden the hunters from accessing accessing it. Of the of those who did return, did they have anything to report? No, my lord. They saw nothing, uh, and uh, they only heard screams of their brethren. And some of them say that they felt like they were being watched, but none of them saw anything. Rillanid. Uh, at least a pause, frowning behind the mask. But there were no attacks upon the the camp itself. Nothing approached the fires. No, my lord. Nothing has attacked the camp directly. I don't suppose any of the hunter groups actually took light with them, did they? He shakes his head. No, my lord, they did not. Hmm. Well, that's right. Tilt his head. Sergeant, if you were to give an evaluation of this, what would you say was wrong here? What hunted down your men? He seems to shift. I am not sure, my lord. Um, if there indeed are restless spirits uh, on this uh, in this lake, I don't see how light would have frightened them off. Uh, there is something amiss here, my lord, and I am afraid that my... My knowledge of this place fails me. I cannot I imagine what actually has taken them. Very well, Sergeant. You did what you could. Carry on. Yes, my lord. He salutes. Hmm. Little Ned nods and watches and goes and deep frown as uh, this troubles him. Most unfortunate. Uh, he can make a perception check. Go ahead and uh, have myself a perception check. I can definitely do that. We'll uh, we'll throw my two d twenty. That's a seventeen, and that's a that's a twenty. Uh, all right, natural twenty. Wow. Right. Well, uh, really, at this point, you were at the outsides of the camp when you talked to the sergeant. Yes. And when he when he turns around to sort of head back into camp, really sees something out in the um, the edge of the light uh, something that that you know he he thinks for a split second looks like a large almost like a lizard peering sort of hungrily at him um but then it quickly slinks away down the um 
uh, down the beach that the sergeant inclined that the screens were coming from. Mm. That does little to assuage his deep fry. <laughs> Mental uh, notes. The, um, yep. the lizard was visible uh, as a sort of a sheen of the, uh, the guard fires caught it. Uh, but it seemed to quickly move out of it into the darkness, and as it did, uh, it completely vanishes from. The Is side. that anything I could make a roll for to recognize, like a local or a dungeoneering or an arcana? Uh, you could do an a dungeoneering check right. or a nature check. Oh. what are the other? Uh, dungeoneering or nature. Okay, just wanted to make sure. What are the other? Twenty-three. It is quite peculiar. Rillin is not exactly sure. Uh, it would be possible for a lizard to adopt some sort of camouflage, perhaps in the darkness, uh, especially if they have lived here for a long time. You know, they have could have evolved to be hunting in at this very place. Um, the exact nature of this camouflage is very difficult to ascertain, though. I mean, is there anything that he's heard of in his studies or experiences that would make a lizard suddenly, like, fucking poof? Like, I guess, invisible to dark vision? Or just, like, teleport? or, or like... Not uh, not directly. Um, okay. But there are... The Lake of Diamonds is a source of very strange energies from the crystals. Right. Uh, perhaps that has something to do with it. Right. Right. Mental notes, a referendum to himself about where not to go for vacation. <laughs> hmm. And along with, like, patting himself on the back because he's thinking of how much worse this could have been had he not worn the sergeant to post regular bright lights. Mm. Indeed. Quite the, uh, quite the, uh, the good advice there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That that's just unsettling. Mm. I don't like that. I kind of regret asking now. Mm. All right, I'm good. All right. What does the rest of the party do while Rilner is out talking to the sergeant? Well, Ellen Neri sort of uh, looks to her siblings, really, to see if they have anything to say. Um, she she is, is satisfied with how things go. She's not completely satisfied with the. Uh, I mean, she expected some disorders, but he's not satisfied that this ghost thing has apparently killed some of her, her people. And, uh, and sort of, uh, she's in her mind toying a bit uh, with the idea of sending Rillinit to talk to whatever it is. Because it's clearly, it's clearly real since it kills things. And, um, you know, he's managed to acquire uh, some interesting allies. Maybe his talents could be put to use to acquire whatever is in this place. And uh, and that's sort of what she's she's uh, she's toying with. She'll still ask him when he returns, uh, but for now she's just uh, you know toying with the idea, thinking All of right. whatever thing it could be. All right. What is uh, what is the others doing? Well, Zen would probably just walk around inspecting the army. Clearly not happy with what he's seeing. Not only are they only criminals as he's seen before, but now they are less criminals than before, which is even worse. <laughs> And, well, he's definitely dissatisfied by this ghost rumor. He's quite sure it's just some sort of predator of sorts. And clearly all the hunters are idiots for believing that they're ghosts. So, yeah. He's just disgruntled. That's what he's doing. Okay. Tristan walks behind Sen and mimics him. <laughs> like then big frowny face. <laughs> What did you say, sheep? Zen pretends not to notice. No, that's what I expected. Okay, Ranlor? Rain Kalar, sorry. Uh, Rain, were, Rain is, is not amused with the deserters. I should approach Al Alanieri. So, we, lo we lost quite a few men to being killed both on our own side and by whatever this ghost is. She sort of waves her hand and says, 15 men more or less is not going to win this battle. If it does, we have already lost. Just, 
We cannot hope to hold festivals with 15 soldiers. That is true, but it's never good to lose semi-able men. Not getting rid of the obvious traitors, the worst of the kind, was good. Now we don't have to worry about them. Our sergeant did good in showing example. He smiles and looks around. The hunters, though, I'm less happy with. Uh, dear brother, do you think, perhaps, that, that whatever this ghost is could be reasoned with? It's had some easy meals, but knowing that no more will be coming soon, perhaps we could persuade it to join our cause. Though, I, though before our trip, I would have said no. Something tells me that if anyone has a chance of it, Rillanid would likely be the one to do it. Uh, so yes, this, I've never considered him much of the talkative type, really. He always seemed a bit off, but it seems that he has a real knack for... It seems, um, I don't know what he said to the spiders, but certainly the gnome, he has a knack for uh, making creatures understand what they think by his intentions. He's definitely shown that, though I, though I doubt whatever creature we get, I would trust. But uh, that is your decision, my lady. She nods. She says, um, "If we were to go there tomorrow, I should be quite capable of uh, of having light sources readily available. Uh, if if a uh, problem would arise, uh, and uh, she seems I." I'm not sure. I will talk to Rilind about it, but it it puzzles me. I I'm uh, if if we could gain some ghost ally, should have waves a hand, calling it a ghost for lack of better words, then uh, at least we would have that. It sounds like it would be a, a great boon. I wonder how the gnomes would enjoy being eaten with by something they couldn't see. It would definitely be useful if we could get to work. In the meantime, I will check up on the army, make sure enough, make sure I'll, no no other ones seem to be acting anywhere near traitorous. Good. Inspire them. Show that how show them our greatness. Smiles. They should see us returning and saving them from this place, and they should be eager to follow us into battle. Brian nods and will begin. Oh well, yeah, going, 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 looking at, going basically, you know, examining the soldiers, checking, you know, checking their activities, making sure. I assume they're packing up at this point or getting ready to pack up soon. We know. Elinary will 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 wait for Rillinit as she uh, as she uh, you know takes in the spectacle of the of the um, Skizral enjoying their uh, meals. She rather likes the place. Though well, actually, yeah, if Rain sees anyone that's uh, acting a bit acting anything dislikable, he will just point his sword. Sh- Straight towards them, straight towards the kiss, kiss roll, and basically just remind them that those are around. Yes, the man seems to be, you know, very impressed by the kiss roll, and that uh, apparently Alunari is commanding them. And um, they, you know, Alunari can, can certainly see a growing sort of respect from the men and almost like maybe a hint of reverence for the spiders and herself. Good. Uh, well, you know, <clears throat> if, uh, yeah, she'll suddenly wear the, uh, the demonic symbol of, um, of a garris, uh, visible, uh, to, you know, even as this is, letting the men know that indeed a demon lord is, is the patron of our house. Uh, should have nothing else, you know, the ones who are capable of knowing it would most likely tell it to others and the rumors would spread. And and such a knowledge is good to, for them to have. 
He's to know that a demon lord is on our side. That we are not a mere low nob nobility. Indeed, you have a powerful patron. Yes. And um, an elder can perhaps feel sort of the the pleasure, uh, the pleased demon lord sort of smiling upon her at this very point. At least she, you know, she thinks she feels that, for sure. Yes, of course. Uh, it takes a uh, a couple of hours for the uh, camp to be assembled, you know, de disassembled and, and packed up. Uh, but in, in a few hours, the drow army stands gathered before them. And uh, Sergeant Tarlin once again approaches uh, approaches the uh, the group. Before that time, has Rillinid returned? Unless he has walked around and done something else, yes, he, he would have. I, time to at least. I, I think I think he would have waited to that. Just sort of like a slow edge around like the exterior of the camp. Like staying with like in range of the light, sort of like trying to peer out of it as if he can somehow pierce the veil, spot more lizards, and then like throw a torch at him and set him ablaze, and then he can dance. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, such reverie was not to be had. But Elinary would, when he returns, uh, you know, inquire him about the idea of potentially recruiting uh, this ghostly uh, apparition. From what he heard, uh, the the men out out there are afraid of it, and uh, and and you know, with uh, really skills at uh, and gaining allies, this could perhaps be a uh, a chance for him to prove his worth at this skill. I think it impossible. More than he already has done so. How so? If it is hungry, there is surely been food for it. And so does I do not think it is something that can be reasoned with. After talking with the sergeant about my suspicions, I spotted what appeared to be a giant lizard staring inside the camp from the very edge. When it noticed that I had seen it, it skittered away from the, tr the fading light, and as it moved away, it vanished from sight. So it seemed to know that it had been spotted. Perhaps, or perhaps it feared something, the light. I think that the uniqueness of the Lake of Diamonds has resulted in some predatorial mutation, which has granted a giant lizard and others like it the ability to elude our dark sight. Not thinking they are intelligent creatures, I don't think there's anything that could be used to reason with them. Only is a bit dissatisfied with his sentences, yet we have not tried. Perhaps, brother, you're right. I, um, I had hoped, however, that you would have identified some more of what they would be, and perhaps even though they were language in the back of your mind. She says, get him. Real Ned lets out a stony chuckle. <laughs> there are some things even I do not know, Elunari. Then I suppose it was not meant for us to uh, to bring these into our service. We shall do without them then. If they are used to being in water, it would also make it hard for them to travel with us. Indeed, we will also have to keep in mind, should we ever return to the Lake of Diamonds, or like gesturing upward, that we're going to need to bring a lot of light. She nods. Eventually, I'm sure we will clean this place. It is rather beautiful. Really, it will nod with that. But not today. Not this day. She nods. So far. Uh, putting the, the thought on, on a halt. If it can be reasoned with, it can surely as well wait and, and be reasoned with when uh, <laughs> once we return to the dorm. That's right. If I can talk to it today, I can talk to it in like two months. It'll be fine. <laughs> hmm. As this conversation 
you know, it keeps going on. Uh, Sergeant Tarlin approaches uh, Renkalar, who seems to be the closest and also, you know, military proficient, and he salutes. My lord, the troops are awaiting your command. Very well. Wait. Please wait here. He stands attention and waits. 